Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be taking a double look at the brand new Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedio 500, Deluxe Class G2 Universe Road Rocket and Diaclone Universe Burnout. Now as we take a very quick look here at the packaging for Road Rocket just as it's essentially the same for Burnout as well, we get a really cool piece of artwork of the character sporting this wicked ninja-esque head sculpt, a cool image here of the bike mode, that wicked Velocitron box art, a close up there of the character, some product shots here at the back and that pretty much wraps it up. Now truth be told I wasn't too sure whether or not I'd be picking these figures up at all. I wasn't too pleased with their Wave 1 counterparts, those being the Prime Universe RC and the G1 Universe Skids, but considering that I'm trying to pick up all of these exclusive figures I thought that I couldn't really give these a miss as in the future I'd no doubt regret it and I thought considering they're just repaints and retools I may as well throw together a double review. Now as we start off firstly by taking a look here at Road Rocket I think the bike mode looks exceptional. That was one of the biggest selling points for the original RC and I think this time done in this awesome metallic red it actually looks really cool. Now we do get some nice transparent blue plastic here for the headlights and for this windscreen section. I do like the details such as the brake bars, the handles as well as some of the speedometer detail and overall it is definitely a pretty solid vehicle mode. We do get the exhaust here at the back, some very nicely painted rims and even as we come around here to this side we do have the kickstand. So definitely a really solid looking vehicle mode but is this worth double dipping at a higher price point I'm not totally convinced and here we have Diaclone Universe Burnout now this is pretty simplistic but this is exactly how Burnout should look so I do think they've done a good job in regards to the deco we get this really nice red and silver strip along the side of the vehicle mode a very nice metallic gun metal for this bumper something which is actually absent on the skids mold and also a nice transparent blue plastic here for this entire canopy however for the life of me I cannot get this section here to sit flush and that was also an issue I had with skids so that's a shame to see it return with this mold but we do get some nice tail light details here at the back and I guess it's a pretty chunky cool looking alt mode. Now as far as accessories go for both of these here for Road Rocket we do get these really cool throwing ninja star blade things they're basically exactly the same to what we saw with RC however they do have better paint apps so if we actually combine them as you guys can see it will form a throwing star which I thought was a really nice attention to detail and we'll be sure to touch base with this more when we transform her up into bot mode and then here for burnout basically the exact same weapons that we saw with skids so this energon infused axe and then the two metallic silver blasters which I'll also showcase more of later on now as far as the comparison goes for both of these figures here we have road rocket and burnout compared alongside the prime universe RC and the legacy deluxe skids and as you guys can see exactly the same molds they really have altered nothing as far as the vehicle modes go I do like however that they've still retained the indicator like detail on road rocket this time it has been picked out in a nice metallic ping so that's pretty cool and here for a very quick comparison between burnout and skids as you guys can see I do think the detail is a little better on this figure where the front goes but from a side perspective they're basically identical and here at the back we do actually surprisingly get some additional tail light detail which was absent on this figure so I guess nice repaints but it really is just going to come down to how much attachment you have to these characters and what you guys think of the mold originally as if you were turned off by the first releases then I don't think there's enough here to really justify picking them up at a slightly inflated price point. Now turning to transformation we'll start off firstly with the more complex out of the two that of course being road rocket to kickstart things off you're going to want to detach these side panels here from this piece we can then lift this entire assembly up now nine times out of ten this entire front canopy will actually detach it was something that I wasn't too keen on in regards to the RC mold as basically you could completely remove the front portion of the bike mode which I thought was pretty stupid and whilst you could transform this figure with everything attached the instructions do actually state you removing these and I just think that's kind of lazy but we may as well set these here off to the side for now what we'll then do is come around here to the rear detach this wheel and just bring the legs out now this is where things can get slightly complicated as you're then going to want to take what was the back of the bike split this and they will actually click into place on both sides we can then flip her back around take the arm guards shift these sections upwards and then as far as the waist goes you'll want to rotate it here to the front take this crotch plate bring this forwards and then at the same time tuck the belly underneath until that also does latch into place now here for the transformation of the legs you basically do just take the wheels hinge those to the back disengage this section from the foot so pull that away and there is a tiny tiny little lip here that will peg into a slot here now grant it really doesn't do a great job of actually staying there but I'll touch base with that in just a second we can then flip the foot out come around here to this side 
and you guys guessed it, repeat the exact same process. And with all that being said, here we basically have Road Rocket transformed up into her robot mode. Now something which the actual box art does showcase you to do, which is something that I never mentioned in my original Prime Universe RC review, is that you can take this wheel, split it in half, and not only have it act as an almost Cybertronian frisbee waffle maker drone-like thing, but you can actually peg it into this mech tech port at the back of her head, and it does create for a very cool look. Now granted this looks super cool but it does require parts forming which I think is just kind of lazy on Hasbro's part and once again you can also take this and reattach it here for the alt mode so I believe this should peg in like that and we can rotate this assembly around and just compress that along her back but there is Road Rocket in robot mode we'll touch base more with her in just a second let's turn to the transformation here of Burnout so to kick start things off you'll want to take the wheels fold those in flip open the doors we can then detach this windscreen section here from the back extend these knee joints out and then pull this entire mid torso forwards extend the hip joints we can then fold out the shin guards split the legs take the arms and hinge these sections here out to the sides ensure that the windscreen is detached from this front hood section as we'll now bring this entire piece down until it locks into place rotate here at the shoulders arch the doors back and there we also have burnout fully transformed up into her robot mode and i think for the most part they both look cool for repaints and retools personally especially in the case of road rocket i much prefer this figure when in comparison to the Prime Universe RC, just as this is not trying to be something that it isn't, and I really did think that was what the massive issue with some of those Prime characters were, was that they were supposed to be based on something that was awesome, and the finished product, let's be real, was just not that good at all, but considering this is Road Rocket, I'm actually able to accept it, and as far as Burnout is concerned, as you guys well know, I was not a big fan of the Skids mold, but I do think the new head sculpt is pretty sweet, as so is the darker colour deco. Now, as we take a look once again at Road Rocket first, it's all all about that wicked ninja-esque head sculpt that we have. This looks fantastic. Now, if I were to be critical about this, of course, I've got to have some critiques. I do wish that the actual mouth plate was a little more vibrant to better match what we saw on the box art, but design-wise, it looks fantastic. She actually has some really nice light piping. The entire back of the head has been cast out of blue plastic, so that's something worth mentioning, and we'll no doubt see a Nightbird repaint out of this, as this is literally screaming Nightbird. If you gave her some grey and purple hues, it would literally look pretty awesome. I also really really like the orientation that we now have here for the motorbike wheel. I think this looks so much better when in comparison to just have it sticking out here at the back or using it as a drone. And the body was designed in a way not to resemble a female, but yet not to resemble a male. So you are left with some slightly strange proportions. I do like the chest design, however. I think this looks cool. The red plastic is nice, as so is the G2 insignia. But I do wish they maybe could have spruced these pieces up here with some metallic blue highlights. I do like what we have here for the forearms. It looks okay, but the legs, much like in my original RC review are an absolute train wreck. I hate how these wheels just flare out to the side and in terms of a deluxe mold in general there is no substantial weight here at all. She's super light, super flimsy and I just don't like the design here of the lower section whatsoever. We do however get some nice blue metallic highlights for the front of the shin so I guess that's decent and to go back to my earlier point about the weapon as you guys can see we do get the throwing star fully painted or you can split this and peg it into the forearms or personally I like to come around here to the underside and peg these in as wrist blades as I actually think they look way cooler like that when in comparison to just being these strange semicircles on the side of the arm. So yeah, that's not a bad look, but I do wish they could have perhaps given her a slightly different weapon. Now as we take a look here at Burnout, this is a really cool figure and I actually think I prefer this when in comparison to Skids. That head sculpt is awesome. Now it does look like a Nemesis version of Optimus Prime, but that is exactly how this character should look and I think they did a really nice job. The paintwork is fantastic and so is the sculpt work. I'm not too keen yet again on the block that we have here at the back but due to this being slightly more boxed off in terms of design in general when in comparison to the almost circular design that we saw for Skids, it doesn't look as bad in my opinion. I do like the chest design. This comes together nicely. We get the Autobot logo and some really nice highlights here for the shoulders but as we come down here to the legs, it's pretty barren in the paint department and considering this is a premium release as it is a Walmart exclusive, I do wish they could have painted some of this up a little better so I'm not too keen on that and it does have some wonky proportions and these really hollowed out inside legs but if you like the mold then I think you're gonna like this figure now accessory wise to go back to my previous point we get the same weapon so this energon axe as well as this larger blaster 
and these two quadruple ones, if they'll want to detach themselves from one another. These are very easily inserted into the figure. You can just basically peg them into the forearms to replicate that almost G1 animation look, which I think does look pretty cool and in terms of a comparison here for bot mode we have road rocket and burnout compared alongside their original counterparts now in the case of road rocket and rc i think this repaint is a vast improvement i much prefer the colors i much prefer the head sculpt and the orientation here for the wings just to come around here to the back this was how i originally had the backpack on rc which didn't look the greatest but i do just think this new orientation for road rocket looks way better and something else which is worth mentioning is that they both have the terrible kibble on the side of the leg but but they haven't fixed the knee issues, so if you do bend past a certain point, it will disengage the transformation joint way easier than I would have liked, which can create for a slightly funky look. So that's not the greatest, but yeah, definitely a nice repaint and retool. And then as we take a look here at Burnout and Skids, as I mentioned previously, I do think this is a nice repaint, although the colours do look slightly more premium on Skids, especially this chest unit. I think they actually painted this, I could be mistaken, but it is appearing to be way more glossy in person than this almost matte finish that we have here for Burnout. But other than that, really nice paint deco. It would have been cool had they taken some of the silver that we had for the thighs on this figure and maybe spruced up the shins or the thighs on this release. But I do like the shoulder detail. So that is that comparison. Exactly the same character design as they should be. It is merely just the head sculpts which differ. And so, some final thoughts for the Transformers Legacy Velocitron exclusive Deluxe Class Road Rocket and Burnout. Overall, they're definitely nice repaints and retools when in comparison to their original molds, but do I think they're worth the asking price, especially considering that they do cost slightly more than their initial original retail releases? Personally not. You do have to factor in mind that in the same wave, there is a character such as Deluxe Cosmos, which is an absolute banger of a deluxe, and do I think these are in the same caliber as that? Absolutely not, and considering their repaints and retools, I really think Hasbro should have offered us something additional, maybe a brand new sword for Road Rocket and some new weapons for Burnout. I just think even if they'd given us the motor combo for Burnout, that would have been cool, but as it stands, we do just get the same weapons that we saw first time round. The molds in general were just mediocre to start off with, so for those who weren't a fan of the originals, then you're still not going to like these, despite them being nicer repaints. I do like Road Rocket's head, I think it's awesome, but it's undeniably setting up the inevitable repaint of Nightbird, and then as we come to to burn out, we're definitely going to be seeing a cross cut of this figure in the future as well so I guess it just comes down to whether or not you liked the original versions, the attachment that you have to these characters or maybe you just think they look cool. If you think they look cool then I guess they're worth picking up but I personally would recommend to wait for them to go on sale as I think out of the Velocitron line in general it is really Scourge Override Cosmos and even Clampdown that collectors appear to be clamouring for and not so much Blur and these two but still I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you guys plan on adding these characters to the collection and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.